Hello all and welcome to another edition of Everyday Black History. And today we're going to be highlighting a man who is a pioneer in the fields of aerospace and semiconductor devices, George Alcorn Jr. Now George Alcorn Jr. Um, was born March 22, 1940 in Indianapolis, Indiana, the son of George and Arletta Alcorn. And it was his parents who promoted the virtue of education to him and his younger brother. Now, George Alcorn was an excellent student in high school, and he entered Occidental College in Los Angeles, California, on an academic scholarship. It was noted that he was a remarkable athlete and received varsity letters in baseball and in football, but what's most important is that he graduated with honors with a degree in physics in 1962, and he followed this by enrolling in the nuclear physics program at Howard University, completing his master's work in 1963. He obtained work during the summers of 62 and 63 at North America and Rockwell, which was a leading aerospace company. And he worked in the company's space division and was assigned to perform complete computer analysis on the, orbital, on the orbital mechanics and launch trajectories for rockets and missiles. And some of his work even included the Titan and Saturn rockets from the NASA Apollo space missions as well as the Nova missile. In 1964, George Alcorn applied for a research grant from NASA to study the concept of negative ion formation, and he was awarded the grant and conducted his research from 1965 to 67. At the same time, he was enrolled in the physics program at Howard University and received a PhD in atomic and molecular physics in 1967. And amongst all that, all his education and all his degrees, he even found the time to get married to his wife in 1969, Maria Davila. Now, Alcorn, uh, George Alcorn signed on with Phil Cole Ford, Phil Cole Ford which, which was a division of the Ford Motor Company. And Phil Cole Ford was, uh, designed car radio and television sets during that time. It also had an aerospace division that, tracked, um, that, had, that developed satellite tracking systems for NASA's manned space program. George Alcorn served as a senior scientist for the aerospace division, and he later worked as a senior physicist for another company, Perkin Elmer, which was a multinational technology corporation. And then after that, he served as an advisory engineer for IBM. Now, his relationship with IBM proved to be quite valuable in 1973 when he was selected to become a professor at Howard University in IBM's Visiting Professor Electrical Engineering Program. And if it's and if as if his schedule wasn't already busy enough, he also taught electrical engineering at the University of the District of Columbia. Now, in 1978, George Alcorn left IBM and he joined NASA, where he invented an imaging X-ray spectrometer, which used thermal migration of aluminum. Now, an X-ray uh, spectrometer is used to provide data, which can be analyzed for a number of applications, including for obtaining information about remote solar systems and other space projects. He would receive a patent for the device in 1984. He also was, um, was awarded a lot for his inventions. He was NASA's Inventor of the Year, and he, was also, um, he also developed an improved method of fabrication using laser drilling in 1986. Now, as mentioned, because of the success of his uh, endeavors, he was awarded a lot from a lot of different scientific institutions. Um, he was also uh, well promoted as well and manned and managed many uh, space programs. Um, NASA placed him in an administrative management position, as well as the deputy project manager for advanced development of new technologies um, for use in the International Space Station. He was also named um, the manager for advanced program in 1990 um, in NASA and then one of their other divisions, the GSFC. And in 1992, he became the head, of, the head of office of commercial programs, helping to find commercial uses for the new technologies developed at NASA. After that, he later ran the... Uh, the NASA Evolution Program, which oversaw the development and running of the space station. 
and in 1994, he even oversaw a space shuttle experiment which utilized a robot-operated material processing system to conduct the manufacturing of material and the microgravity of space. He was also further awarded um, other awards, the Government Technology Award in 1999, as well as um, being recognized for his work for aiding business in the Virgin Island in employing technology. As mentioned earlier, George Alcorn is um, the inventor of over 25 devices, and he has secured more than 25 patents. He is also, as mentioned, a pioneer in the field of semiconductor devices, plasma semiconductor devices, and his concept and implementation of plasma etching has become a standard for the industry. And what's most important is that he also served his community well over the years, involving himself in programs aimed at re recruiting minorities and women to work at NASA, as well as programs to encourage inner-city children to focus on science. So George Alcorn, we thank you for your contribution and we, to black history and black culture, and we salute you. Um, there's a lot more information on George Alcorn Jr., so as we encourage everyone to just do yourself a favor when you get a chance to look up him, look up some of his inventions and his accomplishments, and no doubt young men and women who are in the field of science can look to him as an example. So we thank you for tuning in to this episode of Everyday Black History and ask you to tune in tomorrow for our next one as we'll be highlighting more people and institutions.